Hey everybody, Keith Dotson here, and in this video, I'll be making test prints of black and white photographs on a variety surface paper called Riverstone Satin Rag, made in Austin, Texas by a company called Breathing Color. Now, I admit I'd never heard of the company Breathing Color until I was researching some information for a podcast episode recently, and they kept popping up with really great information on their website, so I looked at their paper offerings and decided to try one. In this video, I'll make two test prints and compare the test results to my favorite variety surface papers from Hanamula. For our first test print, I'm printing a new photograph that I just shot in Virginia at this vintage drive-in movie theater a few weeks ago. This is my first time ever printing this image. Here on their website, we can see some information about the Riverstone paper. They say it's a stable and lasting 100% cotton base with a serene texture. Those are their words. They say it's double coated for printing on either face, although it doesn't seem to be in the package that I received. And they say that it's certified for 100 plus years of light fastness and normal display conditions. And of course, it's made in Austin, which is my old hometown, which is pretty cool to me. I like supporting uh, American companies and uh, hometown companies whenever possible. On their specs page, they say it's a brightest surface paper on a 100% cotton base with a stipple finish. It's very heavy at 365 GSM, and this is a biggie to me. It uses no OBAs or optical brightening agents. Of course, I installed their custom ICC profiles, and the sales rep told me to set the printer up with media type as ultra premium presentation luster and to adjust the color density slider to minus 15%, which I didn't do, and I don't even know how to do that. I opened the plate and gap to a wider setting on my Epson printer to accommodate the thickness of the paper. The paper was delivered well packaged in a rather generic box, but the corners were unbent. Unlike when I get paper and cut sheets from B&H Photo, they're often bent on the corners. So this is a nice surprise. However, on the very first sheet I pulled out of the package, I could see what appeared to be minute scuffs on the surface of the paper. I printed this sheet and they didn't seem to make a difference from what I can see. I was a little disappointed to see it shipped with chipboard inside the plastic and against the paper surface itself. That seems like maybe a potential source of acid contam contamination to me. Now we will look at my first print on the Breathing Color Riverstone Satin Rag Paper. Overall, I'm pleased with how nice this looks. It seems to have a cool tone to it. It's a little blue. One thing I noticed is the gloss of the ink on the printed areas really contrasts against the unprinted areas, creating this weird effect, an uneven, uneven look to the surface. At an angle, you can really see that this is an inkjet print. I'm thinking a coating or two of spray varnish might mask that a little bit, but it's much more apparent than the unsprayed Hanamula papers that I'm used to.
I'm also seeing some white spots in the sky that aren't in the original image. Maybe those are from dust on the paper surface. I'm not sure what to make of that. Okay, so I sprayed this paper with a coating of my Hanamula UV spray, and it did help a little with that surface inconsistency, but not 100%. Probably another coating would take care of it, though. For my next test print, I'm using the same photograph of two old junked antique pickup trucks that I use in all my paper comparison videos. This is the print I'll compare to the Hanamula prints later. This time I'm brushing away any potential dust particles before I send it to the printer. I will say the paper performs flawlessly in my printer. I've had trouble with papers from much bigger manufacturers, but not with this one. And here's the print fresh out of the printer. It hasn't been sprayed. In fact, Breathing Color recommends that you let them dry fully for 24 hours, even though they're dry coming out of the printer. Uh, they say let it dry for 24 hours before you put it into a frame or whatever. Here in these ultra close-up views, you can really see the unevenness in the printed surface. But also look how speckled the ink looks in some of these grays. When we look at the Hanamula papers in a minute, you'll notice that they don't have that same speckled look. I'm being hypercritical here because these are very up close views. Now for comparison, here's the fine art Baraita made by Hanamula in Germany. As far as I'm concerned, this is the gold standard or one of the gold standards in printer papers for fine art photography. Here you can see that the variations in the inked surface are much less apparent. And look how beautifully the inks render on the paper surface, not speckled. And this is Hanamula's Photorag Baraita, which is very similar to the Fine Art Baraita, but it has a cotton substrate and no OBAs. As you can see, it prints a little warmer because it's not as cool white as the Fine Art Baraita paper. And we'll close out this video with one last look at the Breathing Color Riverstone Satin Rag. I hope this is helpful to anyone who may be considering buying this paper. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to visit my website, keithdotson.com.